hear from all of you. Also kick it off. Well, uh, I, I've thought a lot about this, and I think the main if one, what we need in Maine is we need younger people. Take a look. It, does, it looks almost like a lecture for Social Security. <laughs> okay, so that's one thing. We really need to encourage as many young people. We also need more women. I'm real, you know, today I saw a thing in that said a lot of men, white men, were committing suicide. And I almost thought, yeah, great. You know? <laughs> I mean, and then I thought about it a little more, and I thought, well, maybe you shouldn't say that in public. <laughs> um, but really, we need more women in, in politics, and we need to really encourage them a lot. And, you know, those two things, I think, are really important. The other thing is, the national election is really taking a lot of energy from out of our communities. But it's gerrymandering here that has screwed up everything in the state of Maine, and we really need to get that back. We need to get back in control. So to me, those are the three things that we really need to focus on in the next few years, is getting back control so that, uh, you know, our, the community I come from has got two of the worst uh, representatives. One, a senator, Senator Mason, doesn't even respond to anybody. I mean, we have a we have a medical center, and our and our um, uh, CEO at the medical center has offered asked them to come down and take a look around. We have three different centers in Turner and in Leeds and one in Monmouth. He never responds to anything. People have tried to contact him. This is Garrett Mason. He's the Senate minority or a Senate majority leader. We need to get rid of him and. Jeff Timberlake is the other one that we have to contend with, and we think that there'll probably be somebody from Ricker's um, organization that'll be running in his place. I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't pretend, I mean, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. I don't have the ideas that a lot of these young people have. But I will tell you one thing. We, the other day, we had a meeting of Leeds Democratic Committee, and we invited two women from Turner to come. And they have started a, a pact that they wanted it to be nonpartisan, but it turns out that it's only Democrats that seem to be so, showing up because we're the ones in pain. The rest of the people seem to be enjoying the fact that uh, who they have elected. But they are younger people in their 30s, I'd say most of them, and, or maybe early 40s, and they've never been involved in politics. And all of a sudden, here it goes. Oh, sorry. Right. You did a very good job on that. Right. <laughs>